here we are at Ollie's Good Stuff Cheap. And as we find, we looked in the book section, which we rarely do. They have a WWE Raw the first 25 years for seven bucks, which is a pretty decent deal. And uh, as you see, there's Vader beating up on weak ass Heath Slater. Here, a fuck horn swaggle. Uh, yeah, oh, we got to go back here. What did we see? Oh, we see Donald fucking Trump. You knew he'd be involved. And uh, it goes through the all history of the 25 years of Raw. It's a pretty good book, but uh, I don't really collect books. So I don't think any, uh, like it's a good deal though. If if you're if you're into that thing. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff about the history of Raw, the 25 years. It's a great book. If if you're a big Monday Night Raw fan and want to know the things of Monday Night Raw, that's a good book to pick up. And then we're scrolling around and we see something else. The World of the Rock. The World of the Rock for, and there it is, look at the rock there, for $5. $5. I know Charles buy that for five dollars, and uh, as you see in here, you can see it talks about all the Brock's movie B movies. Well, the movies that sucked, in my opinion. Uh, and then he talks about he had there's a book of him hitting the Undertaker there. There's the Hurricane and the Rock. That was my favorite moment of the Rock right there. I enjoyed the Hurricane and Rock skit. I don't know why I loved it. And great, and there's the Rock with the Rock Fire, the People's Champion, in that miserable hoodie. And, and The Rock's early years. You know, I have nothing against The Rock. He's just not one of my favorites. But but it's a cool book for any Rock fan. If there's any Rock fan, there he is with the pineapple haircut. The Evolutions of The Rock. Look at that. From Humble Beginnings to Flex Kavana all the way to the Horrible Bedazzled Shirt. And now it talks about his family tree. And if, This would be a good book for any Rock fan out there. And then we look through the uh, figures, and they have figures. We have Roman Reigns, Elite. We got Seth Rollins for six bucks. Well, seven bucks. Another Seth Rollins, Elite John Cena for thirteen. The Elites are thirteen, so they ain't too bad. Oh, we got Levante's girl, Bianca Belair. I know he'd buy it. And we got a Bianca Belair Elite. I bet you he already has it. And uh, <laughs> don't you, Levante? And, uh, but yeah, they got a whole bunch of WWE figures, so, and there's Seamus, the Celtic Warrior, Seamus, and then we see Elite Undertaker, who looks, looks pretty badass, I ain't gonna lie to you, and then we found the Championship Showdown, and there, and there's, uh, Drew McIntyre and Goldberg, and then they have a Championship Showdown with the Street Profits, who suck, and then we found... Over to the sideboard for $7.99. Royal Rumble, the card game. Never seen this before. It looks pretty cool. And then we hit up Family Dollar for $2 games. They That's what they say. And we look through them. We look through them. Ain't really much of shit unless you want FIFA 17. Who wants that? And, but we found something pretty interesting. There it is. Right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting installment Wrestling Rampage, the two amigos are back in this bitch. That's right, we're back. And uh, we actually went to two stores that we normally don't hit. Yeah. Uh, mainly because we don't have any in our town. Yes. Uh, we went to a uh, town away uh, for some business. Yeah. And uh, we actually stopped at uh, Ollie's. Um, good stuff cheap. Good stuff cheap. And just look around, because yep. because we don't we, we don't go to uh, Ollie's very uh, well Ollie's very much or the other place very yeah. very much either. Uh, so we decided to look around. Uh, went to a few stores there in uh, Radcliffe and uh, found some stuff. Uh, I know we went to a retro video game store yep. there. We also went to Goodwill and didn't find anything there really. No but uh, <laughs> any good? Any good? And uh, so we decided to stop at Ollie's and we actually found some stuff. And I'm glad. And, who's and by the way, and by the way, this is a twofer. You got you, we got stuff out from Ollie's and another store, which we'll talk about hey, in a second. And of course, it was Pops' idea to go to Ollie's. Of course, he didn't find anything. Yeah, it was Pops' idea. Pops didn't find anything. I I was looking for a table. Yeah, this table's almost had it, guys. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we actually found some stuff. Yeah. 
Um, you guys actually got some footage. Yeah. Um, they had oh, wrestling books. They had a few wrestling books. I think they had a rock, rock book and a raw twenty-five and a raw twenty-five book, which looked pretty cool. Would yeah, I think they were five dollars. Yeah, weren't they? yeah, uh, they were five dollars. And but here's uh, the thing, I, I'm not much of a reading guy. Yeah, uh, so they would have just been uh, collect collect dust. Yeah, uh, I have a few wrestling books. I don't have a ton. I only have I don't know maybe seven or eight. I don't have too many. Um, so I decided to pass on them, but, uh, th they would have been cool for any book collector if they yeah. wanted them. And for $5, it wasn't a bad deal. Uh, then we went over to the, uh, we looked around the little, like, area where they just have different toys and stuff. Yeah. I actually came across this. It's like, I'm going to buy this. Yeah, when you show me, I was like, what the hell? This, guys, I, I've never heard of this me game neither. before. This is actually a card game. Uh, it's called WWE Legends Royal Rumble Card Game. And I don't know what this is or anything, but it does seem very interesting. It says, featuring 30 legends of the WWE. Now, uh, Ravens, Ravensburger, yep. I, guess, I guess, came out with this, uh, with this game. Um, it says right here on Ollie's, it says, it says that, that their price is $25. I looked it up online. It's worth maybe like 20 yeah. right? But nonetheless. That's still a good savings. Yeah, that's still a good savings. I actually got this for $7, six ninety nine, And uh, we see... It's still good savings. Yeah. Uh, we got a bunch of legends on the front. We got Booker T, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man Randy Savage, Ric Flair, and Razor Ramon. And on the side, we got Jake Roberts, The Undertaker, Mark Henry, and Andre. Andre. Uh, and on the back, this is what kind of intrigued me. Uh, you, uh, it could be ages 8 and up to kind of understand how to play the game. 2 to 10 players, and the play time is pretty decent. It's like 30 to 45 minutes. So it's not a very long game. It's not like a Monopoly. <laughs> yeah. And it says right here, Enter the ring as a WWE legend and face off against your rivals in the WWE Legends Royal Rumble card game. Use electrifying attacks and signature finishing maneuvers to eliminate your opponents. New legends enter, enter the rumble as others are thrown over the top rope. And it says, you, uh, can you survive the brawl to, main, uh, to, main, to remain the last legend standing? And it has 150 action cards, 30 signature cards, 30 legend play cards, and one championship token. Plus the instructions. Uh, I think this might be pretty cool for us to play. Guys, if you want us to play this on the channel, let us know in the yeah. comments down below. Uh, we have played a few wrestling board games yes, in the past have. on the channel. You guys actually enjoyed that. If you guys want us to play this WWE Legends Royal Rumble card game, let us know in the comments down below. We'll actually play it on the channel yeah, if you guys will. really want to. Uh, it's pretty cool to spy, see that. Like, you don't really find a lot of wrestling board games. You don't find games. wrestling stuff in general on Ollie's that much. Yeah, so, uh, or, or at least our local yeah. Ollie's you don't. Uh, so, uh, when you do, you better pick them up. So, and, and plus, I just don't find a lot of wrestling board games out in the wild uh, too much. Uh, you know, I've, I, I ha we have, I don't know, five wrestling games that are board games. So... To add another one into the collection would be pretty cool. So I, I picked this up for $7. It goes for around 20 ish brand new. And it is brand new, by the way. Yeah, so it's never been open. It's never been open. So uh, uh, And also, my son might enjoy playing this, too. So yeah. uh, Cade might get a kick out of this game. So actually, probably the next time he comes over, we'll probably play this, knowing him, if he sees it. But, uh, yeah, pick that up. Uh, I decided to pick that up because why not, right? And, yeah. and, and it was decently cheap. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. What'd you end up paying up, Tommy? Well, we actually went to the... the, the I, I thought the, it was like, hey, maybe there could be something in the other section. Yeah, there was a... Like, they have an actual toy aisle. Then they have, like, uh, an aisle that has just, like, a bunch of the bigger toys. That's actually where I found this. Yeah. Uh, now, the actual toy aisle is where Tommy found some stuff. Yeah. And they had a bunch of action figures. They had... They had a two-pack of Drew McIntyre and uh, Goldberg. Goldberg. They had the, the Street, Street Profits. Profits. Uh, you know, nothing happened in Montez Ford and, yep. the Lin and, and Angelo Dawkins. 
Um, they actually had some elites there, too. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, John Cena. Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. Big shout out to uh, oh, yeah. Levante F. Smith. Uh, and then they had uh, some of these WrestleMania, like, basic uh, yeah. figures. And uh, I know they had Sheamus. And yeah. uh, uh, I know they had somebody else. I forgot who it was. And then you found a couple. Yeah, I found a couple. What did you find? Well, the first one I found... It's one of the WrestleMania figures. Yeah. It is for six ninety nine, seven bucks. Yeah. I picked up Seth Frickin' Rollins. Seth Frickin' Rollins. Seth Rollins. Signature moves the stomp and rip core knee. What's yep. the rip core knee? It's, it's one of those running knees. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I picked up uh, Seth Rollins, you know. I, I actually like Seth Rollins. He's a good worker. Yeah. And, and I don't think I have an action figure. So I, I don't like, think you do, no. Uh, so, because I'm starting to put my collection back up on the uh, shelf here. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to have more. So I found the Seth, Seth freaking Rollins. Now, you know, these can be sold at Walmart for like 10 bucks, but they, but had, them, they, had, they them, had them cheaper at Ollie's. They had them cheaper for like $7 at Ollie's. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to buy one. So I bought this, you know, Seth Rollins from the WWE WrestleMania. So, yeah, Seth Rollins. Seth frickin' Rollins. Seth frickin' Rollins. What's the other one you got? This one? Oh, you know who would love this. Oh, yes, we know. This is for a boy. Avante, you're gonna love it. I picked up a Bianca Belair figure That's just for right. you. Yeah. And I didn't have it in the collection. So I had to pick up a Bianca Belair figure. Uh, it's Levante Esmus' favorite woman wrestler. Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE, as he calls. Oh yeah. So she's hot too. Buddy. She is. She's yeah. hot. And I and I, I remember I sent him a him and uh, uh, Bianca Belair and Montez Ford were kissing and stuff. They were taking like these Polaroid, uh, you know, these these uh, romantic photo basically. Yeah, you know, yeah. one of them. And I sent two of them where they were kissing and they fucking Levante goes. Fuck Montez Ford. <laughs> Montez Ford. I agree, fuck Montez Ford. <laughs> but I had to pick up Bianca Bella. I actually like Bianca Bella. Yeah. She's a good worker. Actually, uh, she's, she's actually impressed me, actually. Yeah. And uh, and I liked her when she was in NXT, so she, I had to pick it up just for you, Levante. I know the Board Leaders Wrestling Podcast will appreciate this. Oh, yeah. And, of course, their signature move is the KOD and Spear. Spear. So, yeah. There's Bianca on the back. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. So, yeah. uh, now, why didn't you get the Bianca Belair uh, uh, um, uh, Elite one? Too expensive for me. Yeah. Like, they weren't too expensive. I think they were 13 Yeah. Uh, which isn't bad for elites. To me, elites. A one figure's good enough for me. Like, I think I think Elites at like Walmart are like 20 25 yeah. bucks. So, and, mean, and this is like 10 at yeah. a Walmart. Yeah. So, a regular uh, figure. And... I don't need 50 million people with the same person, so one's good enough for me. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so I picked up these two. Yeah. Uh, then, then, Tommy, we decided to stop at another store that we don't really frequent. Um, yeah. Mainly because I, I, I heard through some sources that they had some stuff uh, that they were um, clearancing off there, and... Uh, we went to Family Dollar. Yes. Now we, and we don't have Family Dollar anymore. No, uh, our Family Dollar went out of business yeah. here in, here in E Town. So uh, now we there is one in another town away in Red. There was two of them. There's two of them actually. Um, we went to both. We went to both, and the first one we went to is the one where we actually which bought, was great. Which was great, and this is actually where we found everything that we wanted. Um, we'll get to the second one here. We'll yeah. We actually roll up in there, and we go in there, and I don't know where the video games are, right? They do sell video games, by the yeah. way, if you guys don't know. Uh, and we roll up in there because I heard that they had $2 video games there. Check out your local family dollar. If you yeah, heard, we heard that there were there they sell $2 video games. And by the way, I actually got footage. You guys seen it? There was yeah. a sign that said on, on all media, like DVDs, uh... Blu-rays, uh, CDs, and video games that they had them for, they had them marked down for two dollars. So uh, went through. Honestly, they didn't have much there. Yeah. They, 
They had like FIFA 17 on the Xbox One, which isn't worth anything. Uh, they had Fantasia. Madden 17. Madden 17? Yeah, they have Madden 17. I, I, I didn't see I that. Think, yeah, they have one. Oh, they had one. Uh, then they had like Man Hannah Montana for the yeah. PlayStation 2. <laughs> I was yeah. like, what? You guys have PlayStation 2 games here? But, uh, and then they also had one for the Xbox 360, which was like Fantasia 2000, but, yeah. but it was kind of like a Kinect game or whatever. And I was like, all these kind of suck. But we did find one game. Yes. And we bought three copies. Of yes, we game. did. And uh, you want to grab your copy too there, Jay? Sure will. We bought for the Nintendo 3DS. We ended up picking up Chibi Robo Ziplash for the Nintendo 3DS. Now, you're like, why the hell did you buy three copies of it? Well, um, they were $2. Yeah. And I actually have the receipt right here to prove it. Um... Unfortunately, you guys can't read that anyway, but uh, it does say family dollar and it does say two dollars. So I got we got all these for six dollars. So uh, not a bad deal. Well, six dollars is some change. Yeah. Uh, and they, they, they had a mark for five, which honestly is not bad. Yeah. Five dollars uh, for these games is what it says here. Uh, but they had a mark down for two dollars. So I, we, we decided to pick all of them up. And there's uh, Tommy. Do you even own a 3DS? No. <laughs> nope. Uh, but uh, it does say here on the back, guys. It says that this game is pre-owned. Any offers, bonus content, online play may not be available for purchase of this product, or it, or it may require. That's what it says here on the back. But guys, these look brand new sealed. Yeah. Are these resealed? I don't think so. Um, I think these are just stickers that they just threw on here to make them look like they're, they're, uh, that they're not brand new. But, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> we decided to pick these up because this is a game I've been wanting to try to get for a little while. I just never find, I just never found it, right? Because I have a 3DS, and yeah. my son has a 3DS, and Tommy decided to look upon himself yeah, on, on price charting. On price charting. And scanned it. And scanned it in. Brand new. This game is like a $13 game. $13. And only paid two. And Tommy decided he's going to flip it. Yeah, I'm flipping it. So, Tommy's flipping that game. I bought me and Caden a copy of these just because we wanted it. Well, I wanted it. And I said, you know what? It's only $2. I'm going to buy my son a copy. Yeah, I'm going to flip mine. And Tommy's going to flip his for a two to, uh, you know, it's about a $13 game. Uh, got it for two dollars, so he's gonna flip it. Yeah, which ain't bad. Tom. You might you might end up getting I don't know maybe ten dollars out yeah. of it if you really wanted to flip it. Uh, and then uh, we decided, hey, we're gonna go to the other the other yes. family dollar, and we're gonna go there. And, and they had games. They had the same games right there. They, and we were gonna get them. Yeah, they had three copies of Chibi Robo, and we were gonna get them. And I was gonna buy them. Oh, I was gonna buy another one. Yeah, and you were gonna buy two more to flip. Yeah, like I was gonna do with that one. But we, we didn't see no two dollar sale. Yeah, there. they didn't have the little sign that said so $2 we asked, sale. and we asked this old decrepit bitch with fucking cross eyes. Yeah, with cross eyed barns. With and she and we're and Joey goes, hey, "Are your games two dollars?" She goes, "Did y'all just come from the other family dollar?" We're like, "Yeah, yeah, no, our prices are different." What? You're the same fucking chain. I mean, if if. If one family dollar has a sale going on, shouldn't all the family dollars yeah. have a sale going on? And she goes, well, prices are what they are on the, on the games. So we didn't buy any. So guess what? We said, fuck you. And they actually had a few other games there, too. I know, nothing great, though. Yeah. They had, like, Michael Jackson, which... And they had of, a FIFA game, yeah, FIFA they a, 16. Yeah, they had FIFA They wanted eight bucks. For yeah, them. yeah, they wanted eight bucks. Uh, they, they had a few Xbox One games that were, like, $13. I was like, Psh. Fuck you. Now, now, I will say Looking this. back, I wish we would have picked up at least the uh, now the Chibi Robo. They also had the Chibi Robos there for five dollars too. Maybe I should have went back. Yeah, to them yeah. I mean, you were thinking maybe we should have picked those up. But I was kind of pissed that she said all the family dollars are different, and I yeah. said fuck, and I ain't yeah, that made me pissed off. So, so I was like, fuck. and I said fuck you then. I so, and we didn't buy shit from her besides drink. <laughs> yeah, we bought drink wasn't that impressive either. I drank my half of it. <laughs> through the rest of the garbage. Fuck, I, I didn't enjoy the fucking Phantom Mystery. Let me tell you. Yeah, so, uh, picked up the Chibi Robo games. These, these, um, you know, these are kind of decently fun. So, I'm, I'm actually pretty, uh, 
I, I, I'm actually pretty interested in playing this, and, and old buddy's going to flip it. Yeah, I'm flipping it. So. Uh, I, I kind of dread, but I wish we would have picked up the ones there at the other one, but. Yeah, I mean. I blame Mrs. Dugan for that. You know, I was thinking about picking them up. But, uh, I would have done it just to flip it. But, but nonetheless, I mean, $5 is a little high to flip something for yeah. know, 13 but if you get them for $2. That's why I did it. So I will say this, if you guys go to your local family dollar, because they actually... That goes by the, the $2 prices, by the way. Yeah, you see the family dollar logo there, guys? Yeah, exactly. So, it, 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 uh, look, go to your local family dollar. You might find some video games on the cheap yes. for $2. Uh, now, granted, they didn't have anything good, really, besides this, So, but nonetheless. Hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com. Slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. You can also follow me and Tommy on Instagram. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more videos coming to you guys because we're that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop, and nobody does it better.